Hi everyone! Today I'm going to quickly walk you through some of the features on Tron Wallet. Tron Wallet is a peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency wallet made specifically for Tron. And it is a project made by the Tron community for the Tron community. I already have my wallet set up and you can feel free to download the app on iOS or Android to follow along. So first things first, after I use facial recognition to open my wallet, you can see the first screen. This screen shows all of my accounts, key features of the wallet, and type of tokens that I have. So the first feature is pay. If you click on pay, you can see a scanner for the QR code. You can scan the QR code to pay the target user without having to type in their wallet address. This feature makes it very easy and convenient. The second feature is Send. Send is very similar to Pay. You can either send tokens by entering the wallet address like I'm doing right here and the amount that you want to send to the other person or by using the QR code. The next feature is Share and Request. Here you see a photo of your own QR code for your wallet address. You can share this QR code with friends and family through social media, email, or any method that you prefer. This allows them to pay you easily without going through the hassle of writing down your wallet address. Another thing you can do is to request tokens from others. Here I'm requesting a friend $100 for gas. The friend can then use this QR code to pay me directly. The last feature on the accounts tab is freeze. You can choose how many TRX you would like to freeze. And remember that one TRX equals one vote. Once you freeze TRX, you can start voting for your super representative of your choice. You can also unfreeze your tokens here. When you click Submit Transaction, it will require your PIN, fingerprint, or facial recognition to authorize every transaction. You can go to the next tab on the right to see the transaction I just authorized. Here you'll see a history of all your transactions, and you can also see the details of each. If we go to the most left tab, we can see how TRX is doing within the crypto market. Here you can see the TRX price within one day, one week, one year, etc. The next tab is the votes tab. This is where you can see how many votes you have available. Remember, you can only have voting power if you freeze TRX. Once you unfreeze TRX, your vote will also be taken away. The address book is where you can add contacts of friends and family so that you can easily transfer tokens without the hassle. You can also add multiple accounts of your own within the Tron Wallet so that you can have access to all of your accounts in one. The Participate tab is for those who want to participate in the ICO or the initial coin offering of other tokens. Users may choose to buy other tokens with TRX. Once you purchase other tokens, they will show up on your account. And the last tab on the right is the settings tab. You can learn more about Tron Wallet by tapping about. This will lead you to a tutorial written by the developers of Tron Wallet. And by tapping who accepts TRX, you can see a form for businesses to apply in order to start accepting TRX. This is where pay also comes in handy. If you scroll down, you can also choose the type of language that you want to use for the Tron Wallet. There are a total of 29 languages to choose from. The last thing here is the network tab. This is where it shows your nodes so that you can always keep track of what's happening. And last but not least, how to create a new account or multiple accounts into Tron Wallet. So right here you can just press add and now you can access all your accounts with these. I really hope this short tutorial was helpful for everyone. There will be new features coming soon, so make sure you follow Tron Wallet Me on Twitter for the latest updates. Thanks for watching.